Hello, Andrew Wall here, head of marketing for Alluvium. And in this video, I'm going to do a live demo of the Alluvadex, our official marketplace where people will be buying land in our first land sale. Also, I'm gonna show you which tokens you're going to need to purchase land and how that works. Also, I'll be talking a bit about wallets, how they can integrate and what steps need to be taken to both purchase and mint Alluvium land. Let's do it. First things first, make sure you are going to the official Illuvadex marketplace for Illuvium. Illuvadex.illuvium.io slash land dash sale. Friendly reminder, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just here to help you understand the steps involved if you decide to purchase Illuvium land. And here we are on the Alluvadex, the official market exchange for Alluvium, where the first land sale will be taking place. This is the URL I showed you just a moment ago. When you arrive, it'll default you to the world view, where you can see all seven regions of Alluvium, and you can explore them as you see fit. I prefer to do the drop-down menu at the top and select my region. And once you do select one of the seven regions, you'll jump right into that region and you'll see the plots of land available within that region color-coded. If you click any of them, it'll pull up some details on that plot of land, including its number, the region it's in, its tier, element sites, fuel sites, you name it. All this information is available for you as you're doing your research. You can also click the heart button here to favorite a piece of land as you're doing shopping and research. If you go below, if you prefer a list view, you can see all of the different plots available based on your filtering. And if you want to dive into a particular piece of land, click show and it'll pop up that particular piece of land for you on the screen. Really simple. There's also a number of other filtering options available to you to make things even easier as you do your own research. The sort by tab over here allows you to sort by time with auctions ending soon or auctions that are newly listed lowest price and highest price. Also, you can filter by a number of statuses, including on sale, coming soon, sold, expired, you name it, all the tiers are here. You can click apply once you've selected your tiers. And if you wanna get rid of all the filters, just click clear filter here on the top and it'll take you back to the fresh view, the default view when you arrive at the Alluvadex. Okay, the Alluvadex is pretty simple, right? Let's get into wallets and tokens and get a little deeper. Here's the basic explanation. Layer one, the Ethereum network, is where purchasing and transactions will happen in this land sale. So MetaMask is the wallet we're supporting on desktop for this land sale. And that's going to be connected to that layer one Ethereum network. What does that mean? That means when you buy land, if you decide to, you're going to be doing that transaction on layer one Ethereum network, that's where your MetaMask is at. Got it? That's layer one. Then there is a layer two involved. What does that mean? So layer one is where the purchase and transaction happens on Ethereum. And then layer two is where the minting of the NFT happens. The minting of the NFT happens on IMX, which is otherwise known as Immutable X. So if you decide to buy land, you will buy it on Ethereum layer one. You will pay an Ethereum gas fee for that transaction. Then when it's time to mint that land on layer two IMX, otherwise known as Immutable X, that land will be minted and there will be no gas fee on that layer two. That's why we are using that layer two is to save you guys on gas fees. If you're purchasing tier one through four land, in that MetaMask wallet I mentioned a moment ago on desktop, you'll need to have either ETH or SILV2 for a transaction to buy land. You cannot combine ETH with SILV2, add that together, and then buy land with a combination of these. Only ETH or SILV2 can be used to buy tier one through four land, and that's going to happen, like I mentioned, on that layer one Ethereum network in your MetaMask wallet. If you are purchasing tier five land, you can only purchase using ETH. You cannot purchase using SILV2. As I mentioned a moment ago, we're using Ethereum layer one 
for the purchasing and the land sale, and then IMX layer two for the minting of NFTs. On layer one, there's a gas fee. On layer two, there is not a gas fee for the minting. What does that look like? Kind of like this. MetaMask is on the left, and you're purchasing with that MetaMask. Then we are going to go over how to connect that MetaMask to IMX so that once you buy that land NFT, it can be minted in your connected wallet on Immutable X. You still with me? I know. It might be a little confusing at first, but let me just show you on the Illuvidex, going through the connection process and setting all of this up to illustrate it and to show you how simple it truly is. Come along with me. So here we are on the live version of the Illuvidex. And as you can see in the top right corner, there is a connect button. That's where we're going to do that wallet management and connecting between MetaMask and IMX. Click the connect button. Once you click, you'll get this prompt that says that you need to have a MetaMask wallet and you'll be connecting to IMX. All the stuff I just told you a moment ago, click connect again. Once you click connect again, you'll receive a pair of pop-ups. One will be from MetaMask wallet, where your tokens will be stored. The other will be from Immutable X link, which is seeking to link your MetaMask to Immutable X. Once you unlock your MetaMask wallet, either through your password or your hardware wallet, however you decide to secure your MetaMask, you receive this pop-up from Immutable X regarding unlocking Immutable X and connecting it to your wallet account. Click the Get Started button. When you do, you'll receive a notification from MetaMask. Double check every link, every number, make sure it's the right account that you intend to connect. Then click Next. Then you'll receive a second prompt where Immutable asks you to connect that particular account. Once again, double check the link, double check your account, make sure all of the information is correct and it's a site that you trust. Then click Connect. Next, you'll see this pop-up from Immutable X where it lists your Ethereum mainnet wallet and a prompt to sign to give access. Double check all the information, then then click sign. Once you do, MetaMask will give you yet another prompt where it'll show you the link and show you the account and the balance, and you'll need to make your decision on whether you will sign. Click sign. Once you do, you'll receive a prompt to set up your Immutable X key. Double check the information once more. You'll have the opportunity to change which wallet this is going to be linked to. As you can see, I'm going to move forward with this example wallet and click set up key. As you can see, MetaMask will ask you yet again for another signature. Double check all the information and click sign. Then setup is complete. Immutable X will give you a pop-up like this and the registration of your wallet has been completed. This window will appear each time you try to make a transaction on Immutable X and only sign if the requests you initiated with the action on Immutable X are the ones that pop up. Got it? Click close. Then MetaMask will pop up once more, but this time it shows a prompt to connect to the Illuvidex, illuvidex.illuvium.io. Double check the URL and your information in your account and decide whether you want to connect. I'm clicking next. It'll give you the second notification. Double check the URL and the account. I'm clicking connect. Then boom, it's connected. As you can see up here at the top of the screen, not only is my MetaMask connected, but it's linked to my IMX wallet. That check mark there is a nice visual indicator that this process is complete. I know that was a ridiculous number of signing MetaMask notifications. And I know I said so many times, double check the link and the address. Please stay safe out there. Please take your time with all of these steps and please do your own research to ensure that you're safely navigating the blockchain.